Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can lose all of your math friends. That's right. Every single one of your math friends will be gone if you follow all of the steps in this video. Now, that also means that if you don't want to lose your math friends, these are things that you should not do. Of course, a prereq for this video is that you actually have math friends. I'm sure lots of you might say, well, I don't actually have any math friends. Well, then don't do any of the things that I explain in this video. The first thing you need to do in order to pretty much eliminate all of your math friends is whenever they approach you with a math question, you just need to look at it and say, oh yeah, that's that's really easy. That's completely trivial. You know, anytime they ask you a math question, just completely blow it off and talk about how easy it actually is. Then at the same time, don't help them. You know, if they say, oh hey, you know, if it's so easy, can you help me? It's like, no, you should be able to figure it out. You're a smart guy. Really great way to get rid of your math friends. Again, if you want to keep your friends, don't do this, right? You should help your friends. You know, don't make them feel stupid, but if you want to get rid of them, always make them feel terrible when they ask questions. Trust me, it works. I've seen it happen. I've seen people do this to other people, and it is not a pretty sight. The second thing you want to do to eliminate all of your math friends is to not participate in their excitement when they figure out a problem. You know that excitement you get when you finally get the solution and you want to share it with your friends. Well, when your math friends try to do that with you, just completely blow it off. Tell them, super easy, what's the big deal? I already knew how to do it that way. Just make them feel bad for their solutions. Again, if you want to keep your friends, this is something you definitely should not do. It's really a pretty terrible thing to do to people. Another thing that you can do to completely alienate your friends is whenever they're complaining about how difficult a class is, you need to step in and talk about how easy it actually is. So if someone's telling you that real analysis is really difficult and they're struggling, just step in and say, oh yeah, that's a really easy class. I didn't even have to study for that class. It's a really good way to make your friends feel really, really bad. So if you're doing this and you want to keep your friends, stop doing it. Otherwise, you're going to lose all of your math friends. The last one is absolutely the best one. So whenever someone asks you for help with the homework, you tell them that you haven't done the homework and that you didn't do it. Then you make it super clear that you're actually turning in the homework. And then when you get it back, you have to be super clear that they see that you actually did the homework and did well. Nothing really upsets people more than this. They're going to think, hey, I asked you for help and you lied to me. And not only did you lie, you knew how to do it because you did well. It's a terrible thing to do to people. This one's actually a true story. Uh, when I was a student, I saw someone else do this to someone else and it wasn't a pretty sight. Now, I don't know if it was intentional, but I can tell you for sure they were not friends. So those are several ways you can completely eliminate your math friends. I hope this video has helped you and hopefully you do have math friends and hopefully you don't alienate them. Good luck.